Welcome to ESPN Big Monday, presented by Bud Light from the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. It's a part of Judgment Week on ESPN as tonight the Kansas Jayhawks take on the Oklahoma Sooners in a battle at the top of the Big 12 standings. And speaking of the standings, here is how they stand right now. 11-1, 11-1. In the next two hours, something has got to give. So this game gets underway. It is going to be tossed up. Curtis Shaw, David Hall, and Tom Eads are the officials tonight. Curtis Shaw is the referee. Eads and Hall are the umpires. You got a look at Jeff Capel just a moment ago. It's been a very busy 48 hours because of the injury to Blake Griffin. And Blake sits on the bench tonight. That was not what he desired. He has begged his coaches, his parents, everybody that he could to please let me play. And it's a, it's a smart move, Ron. Oh, I think it you is, know, too. You know, it's a long season. They've had a great year, and they're going to go far in the tournament. His mom and dad look on. They prepare to jump it up. Tip goes to Kansas. The jumper. Outlet pass. They're running and it's Taylor at the other end of the floor. Well, that's where Sharon Collins has been so good. What an improved player run. Playing behind uh, some great players a year ago. Tyshawn Taylor. Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll see if they drive that sucker, and they do, and it's Collins. You know His what? first two of the night at the 318 mark. Look at this, Ron. He's so hard to keep out of the paint, and he just wants to turn that corner and get into the lane. And this is what I mean. Great point guards play north-south, and you've got to force him to the sideline. And that's a reach-in by Crawford. He was about to do just what you were saying. Collins. Last two ball games, 71 minutes, 44 points, no turnover. That's a young man that was well schooled at 10 seconds. Here comes the play. Collins out in the corner. Tyrell Reed got it. Taylor. I think you'll see more dribble drives by Sharon Collins, Ron. Morris not there. Aldrich tips the ball away. Collins long three. He got it. I tell you, Aldridge got away with just a slight nudge, Fence, very much. Go back to Kansas State on the road, and it really won the ball game for him. Collins way outside, knocks down the three. That's a veteran, Ron. Those teams don't get fooled very often. Take a look at this ball movement back and forth, and who else? Sharon Collins knocks it down. When Blake Griffin comes back because of the way this team has stepped up without him. Collins, no, but he was fouled. Fouls on O'Leary. Leary picks up his first. Collins has made 35 threes in a row earlier this Big 12 season. Second one on the way. Collins passed up the three as Patillo had moved out on him, and now he'll take it. Long three, he got it. Right there, Ron, that's leadership. Got to play with defensive patience. You're back in the ball game. Collins for three. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Do I have an answer for you? Oh, wow. Collins looks up at the clock. It's now at 10. He's going to take another three. And for good reason. First half with a total of four. And now he's got 21 on the night. And all five of his field goals in the second half, Holly, are three-pointers. Collins makes the rebound, and all of a sudden, some groans from the crowd as they are down 81-73 on Willie Warren for a time after he had such a hot streak. Bill Self quietly is one of the best at that. Ron, your point is so right on because Collins convinced you that I think they broke my nose at Nebraska. Yeah, Bill Self had to start laughing. He said, it's pretty crooked, son. Getting their knowledge down to Julian Wright of the night. The second half. Well, you remember how good he was at setting up his teammates in the first half, Ron. But he's the leader of this team, not just spiritually, but with his play on the floor. He recognized when it was time to take over, and take over is exactly what he did. He does. I mean, it, it is his ball club. And I think that's what you call smart coaching, too. <laughs> Might have been their best player at that time. Collins rebounds, and uh, Gabe Davis reaches in for a foul. And Kansas 
Francis wins a hard-fought battle here in Norman over the Oklahoma Sooners. Sports Center is coming up next. Final score tonight, 87 to 78. Coming up next at ESPN Sports Center. For more on this game, tune to ESPN News for a post-game extra. I'm Ron Frank of Ron for Shell and Holly Rowe. So long, everybody, from Norman, Oklahoma.